it's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the color distort effect in Pretty cool effect in my opinion, let's get right into the tutorial here. So we're going to start off by opening up a new composition in After Effects. I have FHD with 24fps and I've added a clip here I'm going to be showing the effect on. So after you have imported your clip, you're going to be adding a adjustment layer to this. So you're going to be pressing Ctrl Alt Y. That's the shortcut for adding an adjustment layer. And here we're going to be using the Sapphire plugin for this distort effect here. And I'm going to be adding distort chroma. And I'm going to start off by changing the amount to 0.3. So it doesn't become too strong. Still want to see the artist. A little bit at least. <laughs> and after that I'm going to change the blur lens to 300. Becomes a lot bigger the uh, uh, distort here. And to animate this we're going to be holding alt and pressing this clock here on rotate warp direction. And here we're going to be typing time star key 200. You guys can see this is how it looks. And the next effect we're going to be adding is also a plugin, it's called Universe. And you're basically going to add the chromatic aberration effect. And here I'm going to be adjusting some settings, I'm going to set the master distortion to 1.5. Then I'm going to be increasing the lens distortion a little bit, so I'm going to set the lens distortion here to 35. And for the last effect we're going to be adding warp. Change the warp style to fisheye, then set the bend to minus 20. And this is the look you will be getting now. Super clean, super smooth effect, I think. And if you guys want to save this, you guys can press Ctrl A to mark all the effects here. Go to animation, save animation preset, and then you save your preset there. So you can use it for later. But I'm going to be adding the last touch here to this effect here. And I'm going to be using the color glitch pack for that which I recently updated and added some new effects to it. And you're basically going to make a new adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to be adding the color glitch effect 33. And this is the result you will be getting here. I really like this trippy distorted looking effect here. And if you guys also do that, don't forget to check out the color glitch pack and use the discount code Pelle to save $5. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget to check out our socials. And I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.